Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I saw somebody ask for a list where you can slide whether you've got your stuff or don't have your stuff. I've got a solution, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so here we are in Tinkercad. You can see I've got version one, I've got version two, and right now we are going to make version three together. The first thing I need you to do is bring out a cube, and I want you to take that cube, hold shift, stretch it to crazy villain. I want you to type 44 for the size we're going to build. Now I want you to take the thickness, so these are both 44, and I want you to change it to just three and press enter. We are going to make this so it prints in place. We're going to give it the cool border. Let me show you how we get that border. Instead of basic shapes, let's go down to shape generators and find what is called the soft box. Now I typed the numbers 44 over here because if you start stretching these, it breaks them. Instead, I want to type the numbers. So just like those were 44, these are going to be 45. So that way it sticks out a little further. You do have to wait a moment for them to show up and 45 and then for Z I want to have four so it's just gonna have a little lip it's not gonna be huge it's just gonna be a little more than the other and then I want my wall to be two and press enter the outer radius you can leave at six that looks pretty sweet if I draw a box that touches both of those I can now hit a line and let's double check and see if our numbers are groovy that does not work as well as I want so this is where I go back and I'm gonna type let's try 47 and press enter and 47 and press enter and maybe put those walls back to three see if that works the way I want not quite perfect yet I'm gonna do a line just one more time to double check let's do center and center that does fit perfectly when aligned so remember we did 47 47 with a size 44 and 44 and this is how I build stuff it is guess and check Let's return quickly to the basic shapes. Let's put the work plane on top of the red piece and let's bring out our words. For the words, we're gonna use the basic text. When you bring a piece out, put your first word there. I'm gonna put don't, and then I'm just gonna click and these I'm going to just shrink. So these handles I'm gonna play with, the handles on those pieces I did not because I wanted to make sure I didn't break those. I chose five for how far I'm gonna make that and then I'm gonna make it pop up one millimeter pass or 1.5 and press enter. I like that. And then you can just squish these till they fit the way you want. Pick any color you think is cool. Of course, if your printer prints one color, you won't be able to tell any difference. Once you've got your first word, then just do control D and nudge your second word down and backspace and change the words. There's your forget. And I'm gonna put your on the same line. When I click away, it lets me edit it. I'm gonna move it across. And then do the same things for the words below. If you wanna line them all up quick, you can select the pieces you don't need to align, and then you can grab those and just choose a line. I'm gonna make the don't the master, and I want them all to line up to that edge. I also want them all to be white. Boom. Now when I hit show all, my pieces are all sitting on top, they're the right height, and we're ready to make the cool grooves that make this project all come together. Friends, let's click the work plane and click the edge to bring it back, and let's bring out a half sphere. Hold down shift and shrink it a little, and I want you to type the number 5 and press enter. This is going to be the secret to the whole project. You can see here is my earlier version with a size four. We're bumping it up to a size five, so there's more of a gap and it's a little more sturdy. This was just a proof of concept. To bring out a cylinder, we do wanna make its size 64, and then we wanna do shift shrink, and we wanna type size five for its size. That way it'll match this, and then we need to bring out a cube to cut it. The only thing we need to do on this is make sure that it's 2.5 this way and press enter. Now when we take these two shapes, and we do a line, make that one the boss. If we go to the back edge, that'll cut that in half. I'm gonna just use the little black handle. Let's use F to fit view, and I'm gonna shrink this so it's closer. That just helps us later if we're editing, and then we're gonna group it. So now we have made the exact half, and if we look at it from a corner, this makes a big difference if you find the right angle. You can easily do the 90. Also, when you rotate, stay inside the circle and it snaps to those spots. If you make a mistake, do Control-Z and just do it again. And we want it to look just like that. It's not on the work plane, see that gap? You can hit D and it drops to the work plane, 
grab those two shapes, choose a line, let's make the pink one the master, and bam, bam, it is lined up. Now when you've got it to that edge, we're gonna go one, two, and then we're gonna switch to the half millimeter nudge, three. So we've got it right to the middle, and then we wanna take this length, and instead of five, we wanna make it 15 and press enter. Control D to make another one, and then if you do shift nudge, it does 10 times 0.5, and it moves quicker to that other end, three clicks while holding shift nudge, and boom, you've just made the first half of your groove. We need to group that, we need to do control D, we need to do control up, and I'm gonna keep it on the half, so there's one, two, that's one millimeter, three, four, and now we're gonna mirror it, and we wanna do the up and down mirror. So see friends, that creates the groove that allows our part to be there. Take those two and group them and make them a whole. Friends, it is time to build the cool little slider. Bring out the round roof. Make sure you grab one of these corners, hold shift, shrink it, and we're gonna type 4.25. So it's smaller than the five we had right there. Friends, next we're gonna bring out a cube Hold down shift, shrink it, and we want to make it two millimeters thick. Let's align both of those. I'm going to just touch them both and click align. Let's make the sphere the master and go middle and middle. Actually, I'm going to go left edge and then stretch it across. So 4.25 because we still had that 0.5 millimeter nudge. I'm going to give it a radius of two just because that looks a little smooth and then I'm gonna raise it up to three millimeters. So it's a little bit above, and it goes above that shape right there. Let's put the work plane right on top of this. Let's bring out a sphere, set it close to that shape, hold down shift and shrink it all the way down to size 4.5 and press enter. I'm gonna make it totally round by adding more steps. And then I'm gonna push it down two clicks. So one whole millimeter. So that is the part that holds it in place. If we take those three and group them, watch how this all fits together. First, work plane back on the ground, take our little groove and let's do shift nudge to get it over to the word keys. I'm gonna do control D and do shift nudge to move the other one down. When I'm happy with that, I'm gonna do control D again and then you can just nudge to get those permanent. Let's hide the yellow piece. Let's group those parts right there. And this, my friends, is what creates the cool grooves that makes this project possible. Now we can take our button. I'm gonna make it white just because I think it shows up cool with the project. And I'm gonna nudge it into place. Let's use F to fit view and see if we've got the grooves we want. It is close. You can see that'll definitely stay in there. I'm gonna change to a 0.1 millimeter nudge. And then we can edit this. So instead of two, I'm gonna take this red piece and I'm gonna make it 1.8. And I'm gonna type the number. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm still double clicking to edit, and I'm gonna go control up. And make sure that they're all aligned. I think that's gonna print pretty groovy. I do wanna make sure it's close to the middle, so that way it doesn't fuse on any of these spots. And then control D. Make sure it's in that one, and control D again. Once again, if you use fit view, you can zoom around and make sure you've got it aligned for 3D printing. Just like that. Friends, I've got keychains I'm gonna use this with, so I'm gonna put a hole in the top, hold down shift, and mine are five millimeters. Then I'm just gonna grab these two, and click a line, make the red one the boss so I don't mess up anything else. And that's where my hole is gonna be. 
I don't care that it cuts under the T a little bit. I think that'll still look just fine. Now I can nudge my T back. That looks pretty cool. Let's do show all to bring back my parts. I'm going to take the don't and I'm going to nudge it down just a tiny bit. Friends, you'll notice that hole is a little high up. If I double click, I can just use the nudge to move it back down into the project where I want. When I click outside that edit, after a moment, it is cut out and ready to use. Alrighty, friends, so I'm going to assume that you can export it as an STL. I exported mine as an STL. Please don't judge the painting skills. That was just really quick. But as you can see, prints in place and they slide like a champ. Little hole for a keychain. If you've got a different way to mount it, you can do that. Of course, you can change all the measurements and make it as awesome as you want now that you've got the skills. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell. You're going to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.